Hey, Matt here. Just wanted to give you a basic Scrapeboard introduction. Scrapeboard is a forum program created by the developers of Scrapebox, if you're familiar with that. Um, it's fully featured, allows you to do everything from forum posting to forum profile creation to list manipulation, email accounts, the works. So uh, as a basic introduction, we have uh, several tabs across the top, just running through proxies tab. Pretty straightforward, um, let you harvest proxies, import proxies that you already have, use private proxies, supports username and password, lets you choose um, various testing options as you want to test it, um, as well as your timeouts, connections, that sort of thing. Um, jumping into the harvester, pretty straightforward. You can use uh, your own custom footprints, you can use built-in footprints, you can use all the various engines. Of course, for Bing, you would need a Bing API ID. Um, Jumping into the keyword list, you can punch in your own keywords. You can use the Google Keyword Scraper, where you punch in keywords over here, and it gives you results to help you generate keywords. You can, of course, load your keywords and save them. Once you start, it'll populate your keywords. You can, of course, remove duplicates, um, URLs, that sort of thing. Not populate your keywords, populate your URLs based off your keywords. You can remove duplicates, import, export. Then you can uh, send these results to the various tabs here across the top. So if I wanted to send my results to PageRank, say, I can send it over here to PageRank, or I can send things to the Form Accounts tab or List Manager tab, which is farther down the way. Um, so you can send results back and forth, or you can simply export and then import, but it's kind of handy to be able to send it right to the right tab. You can, of course, split lists, that sort of thing. Under PageRank, pretty straightforward. Checks your PageRank, import, export. You can sort PageRank, and then you can remove various filters on your PageRank. Rank. Email accounts, fully featured. It's not going to create email accounts for you at this time, although most uh, free email accounts, uh, most forms block all the ones that you could automate anyway. So the best way to go there is to use uh, your own cPanel email account from a throwaway domain, or you can use popular ones like Gmail, that sort of thing. But you input your information. Uh, you just pop it in and it's ready to roll. And then um, with the email account, you can create a username and password for a forum. And then you can populate the email address you want to use and then save that. And then it will go through and create forum accounts for you on the list of URLs that you've harvested from those particular forums. Then, of course, forums oftentimes send you email activations. So you can pop over to the email activation tab and it will open your email box, download all the emails, and click on the activation links for you. Um, using proxies down here, of course, is going to use any proxies you have from the proxies tab. And then you can have it to delete emails off of the server or not. Jumping over to the forum poster, if you wanted to actually post on the forum, you could do that. Uh, there's various things like selecting the boards you want it to post to. Um, you can select the composer file, which is you create a composer file with your posts that you want to post in it, which we'll talk about in a second. And um, that's what you use to create the posts on there. So you don't necessarily type in this screen, it's just what's actually working. So we scroll across the way here, we have the actual post composer. This is where you would load up new uh, composer files uh, so you could take one composer file and put like 10 different posts in it about cars and then it'll rotate through those posts and down here is where you would compose the post um, and subject and that sort of thing um, pretty straightforward there a lot of this is going to be you manually jumping on a forum and doing everything and once you understand how the forum works then you can come into scrapeboard and it just automates the process not magic just automation saves you the time of doing it yourself but good idea to have a good understanding of how forums work by doing everything that scrapeboard does but do it all by hand um, under profiles pretty straightforward creates forum profiles um, you see all the different things that you can create in a forum profile and um, put your links in there and all that sort of stuff. You can select forum accounts. You can save off these and load various ones. Um, pretty straightforward there. And then, of course, let you control different connection settings. Under list manager, of course, um, you can see... There would be a lot of things you might want to do with your list, like so you can import it and export it, and you can export it in various formats, so like Scrapebox compatible, because Scrapeboard supports Unicode and UTF-8, whereas Scrapebox only currently supports ANSI. Of course, Scrapeboard supports ANSI as well, but 
Um, so you can export in your various formats. Um, then you can remove duplicates, either domains, URLs. You can trim them to root, compare. Um, you can send these to the various the results here. You can send them across the way to the various tabs. You can sort them. You can search and replace. Kind of nice. Um, you can remove URLs that contain X. So if you wanted to filter out you know, certain you know keywords or whatever. Um, pretty pretty handy list management. Um, pretty powerful. There's also account database modification because when you're working with accounts, you're working more with a database file per se. Um, it's not just like an actual text file. So this lets you manipulate those files by importing and exporting them and um, that sort of thing. And then under the link checker, pretty straightforward. You load up what you want to check links for. You load up your links by typing or from a file and it will check the links for you. And then various options under settings. I've got visual styles, localization things. Um, currently you can set up dcapture with it and it'll use dcapture service to enter captures for you or you can manually capture solve them. You can input your Bing API IDs and use cloud blacklist. Um, under tools you can test the server connectivity pretty straightforward just to make sure all the servers are up and running. Um, you can download multiple languages, so currently you can do various languages with it. Um, you can manage your plugins. Uh, there's a PHP BB no GD CAPTCHA solver, so it's a rather old CAPTCHA uh, setup, but some forms still use it, and this will automatically solve those CAPTCHAs for you. Um, you can download the update utility. You can check for updates and check for component updates. Um, component updates being things like your expression database and your help system. Uh, scrape board, if you're a scrape box user, is a little different. It has some inbuilt helps uh, stuff, which we'll talk about in a second. So you can visit the website, you can delete info, you can transfer license by proxies, um, you can um, debug and view the history of changes. The scrape board onboard help. If I wanted to find out specific help for the link checker, I can go to help and I can hit F1 and it will bring up help about the link checker itself um, based on that specific tab or I can just go to help and do the scrape board help in general and it will bring up all of the help settings as well as all of the individual things and an index and a search option, that sort of thing. So inbuilt help is pretty nice. Um, and that's uh, that's pretty much scrape board, of course, uh, making this video off of version one. So there's uh, many great changes to come.